Hello, comrades. Kami here. And oh god, yes, yeah, so that just that first blast of bass. I am. It's already just amazing. I I am actually excited to, actually more excited than usual to be doing this review. Yeah, you heard it, Earthworm Jim. I've been waiting to do a game that I knew was absolutely awesome, but I've been, but just looking for the right one. I think, I think Earthworm Jim fits the bill. I mean, odds are this isn't anyth anything uh, too new, anything too new for anybody. I mean, this is, this game is just a classic for anybody roughly age 20 or so. I mean, you'll you'll know this game. This, it's. I don't even know how to put it. This game is is just zany. See, look at boom, cow launched. You you shoot a refrigerator and it and it hits a hits a cow into space. And then this this music, these sound effects, it's just everything about it is just good God. So as you see, we're uh, jumping on tires. <laughs> uh, not a lot of people. Well, I suppose a lot of people actually. I was gonna say that uh, I, I I personally don't know a lot of people that are too familiar with the backstory of Earthworm Jim, but as I recall from the television show of the same name based on the same character, once upon a time there was an earthworm who was about to be eaten by a crow, the same uh, crow, the same crows that I've been killing, when out of space for no apparent reason this huge suit falls on him, and the two become infused, and epic adventures ensue. I don't know if you can pick up, uh, I don't know if my mic is picking up any of this music or any of these sound effects, but I just, I've already said it once, but it's, it's, it bears repeating. These, the sound effects on this game are just, I love it. The music, the head, the head whip, oh god, oh god, Jesus Christ, let me go. There we go. I, the, the head whip, I love that sound. Alright, I'm getting my ass kicked though. <sighs> so I'm not, I'm here in New Junk City. I'm not exactly sure what my, I'm not sure what my primary motive is. I think I'm just trying to kill these crows. I think that's what you do in this game, you just kill crows before they kill you. They take you home and oh there's a, that horrible dog too they just take you home and serve up some earthworm gumbo alright I man ow Jim Jimmy J James what are you doing they should they should they should have called this earthworm James I would I would have played it more I think names like James appeal to kids more I don't want Jimmy or Jim or anything nothing god stupid Earthworm, let me go. This is actually a 50, 53 button combo. You have to type in to, to, to do the counter to get out of his uh, that grapple attack. All right, so me and play James is just trying to work his way through the new junk city, and I'm hoping to Jesus Christ. As you can see, I'm kind of a noob. To be honest, I usually play this game on easy because, as with all good old games, it's asininely difficult. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. There's a. See that moose there? You know what's coming. Boom! That's right. Do a little, little action like that and fall in the spike pit. You fall in the spike pit, it, uh. You unlock a secret ending, so make sure you do that. Just. Boom, boom, boom! Look okay, at that's such a sweet little pose for him. I am. Granted, I'm just wasting ammo, but it's a it's a pretty awesome pose. Would you like to be have your face directly under that gun? I I guess you wouldn't want to have your face under any gun. Jeez. But uh, I guess I'm not gonna make it to the boss fight. I'm probably gonna have a game over in about a second. Oh no, no, I don't. I have one life left. So let's just just make some tracks here. Oh oh oh, chewing on his. I don't know what he's chewing on. Oh, it's chewing on his, on his buttocks. God, just everything is trying to kill me. I don't know what the uh, I don't know what these guys' motivation is. I don't know why they're trying to kill a poor earthworm. I mean, dogs don't eat worms, do they? Maybe some weird ones do. 
That's pretty cool. A little physics class at work. I, I'm not familiar with dogs ever trying to eat earthworms. Maybe someone's dog does. If your dog tries to eat earthworms, let me know about it. I'll put that in the file. File of what dogs eat. I don't think I've ever actually gone this direction. I've always gone with uh, the moose head. I don't know if I'm if I can even make it this way. Yeah, here we go. He's picking up ammo like a madman. More ammo than than uh, someone. As I recall, I I always had a hard time with this boss when I was a little kid because I couldn't figure out. I never really understood how to kill him. I just kind of assumed you'd shoot him. But oh. Very cool, I guess. It's, uh, when I was little, I remember spending countless lives shooting the crap out of that guy. Nothing would ever happen. Now I just like shoot him, shoot him like once, and he dies immediately. That's just how cool I am. Okay, here's the here's the real boss. You don't mess with this guy. You uh, let's see, what was it? You, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. There we go. And he starts burping fish at me. That was it. Oh man. Keep the fish out of here. Yeah, you use your cool physics system right there. I'm I might die here. Dang. Epic physics system of the game puts uh, Red Faction to shame. Oh god. Use the just like propelling yourself on a wire. You gotta use the momentum of your weapon to launch these babies. Hopefully, I can get through this before the video becomes too absurdly long. Nobody wants to sit here and watch another eight minute video. I apologize for that one super long video. Because I personally don't, personally can't stand super long videos and I don't know why anybody would. Unless you had a really good reason for it, like if uh... Oh man. I just... There we go. That's right. Hit you with enough boxes you explode. That's how hardcore Earthworm Jim is. And it pops out that rocket. Booyah! Earthworm Jim. Groovy. Groovy. I'm Godless Kami. See you guys later.